it asks questions that a lot of us, you know, ask throughout our lives. And uh, I thought that that was very meaningful, very thoughtful, and also um, very well executed in some of the thematical structure in the, in the movie um, inside of a, a high concept film. So that was really unique, and I thought that was really exciting for me. Some of the qualities that I admire about Christopher, his transparency and uh, how he doesn't, how he's not, and he's really analytical and he's not trying to hide anything. And I think he really wants to know the truth. Um, and then also I think he's the, uh, the central, um, I don't know if I'd say the central metaphor, but he, you know, he's kind of the vehicle for that central theme that, you know, whether or not we should be good or we should be bad in life or whether it matters if you're just going to die in the end anyway. And so I think that, you know, the weight of carrying that throughout the film was really exciting to me. I think he's everything that I thought he would be, um, you know, uh, on and off the set. And uh, I think he's, he's bringing the best to uh, you know, version of, of Richard that anybody possibly could. So, you know, it's always exciting to work with, with someone who's, um, who's a, as experienced as, as Colin Farrell is and, and to learn from, from those type of actors. Um, yeah, and it's great to have him in this movie. What impresses me most about Neil is his, his composure and his focus. Um, I think there's, you know, the schedule has been, has been tough and, uh, it's a tough, there's a lot going on. It's a tough movie to, to make. And I think that, you know, it's a great challenge for him. And, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind that, that you know, he's going to steer us in the right direction. Um, and, yeah, and I love, I love his, you know, he's, he, he always gives really great analogies when, when, uh, when he's directing. So I, I think even yesterday it was like, I can't remember exactly what he said, but... He gave me a great anecdote, and it's like that for every scene. You know, he always comes up with something that, that you can connect to, and I think really great directors, you know, know how to do that. And I would, um, and so I think he's he's very unique and special in in that way. The blue is basically a a syrup that is mandatory for each crew member to take every day. Um, that you know, it's said to be an enzyme, or is said to you know, contain vitamins that, that, that you need. Um, but in, in, in actuality, the blue also contains, you know, um, some type of sedative, some, you know, to suppress, you know, emotions, your sex drive, um, you know, aggression. Uh, so it, 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 you know, it really brings your personality down, your energy levels down. And, uh, you know, I, I think there's not the kids on the ship aren't totally aware of this and then they find out that it's a medication basically and they start to rebel against the mission by not taking the blue. We all spent quite a bit of time before we started shooting together which I, I was only here a week before we started shooting I think or a week and a half before we started shooting but I think we were you know the crew, the, all the cast and some of the crew we were hanging out every day trying to grab dinner or trying to do things together, which was, I think, really essential to, um, because once you, once you move into production, you know, things start moving so fast and uh, it's really hard to, to find that outside of work. So, yeah, everybody did a really, um, really good job of, of making sure that that happened. And, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time with Billy Budd, our, our, um, our coach, and, and, uh, and, and did a lot of things, the cast did a lot of things together. So. Yeah, I'm super happy that we had the time to do that.